From the confidence that, that I was reading from Bob Baffert and his training, there wasn't a doubt in my mind that Silver Charm was going to win the Kentucky Derby. The only way that he couldn't win the Kentucky Derby is if I made some sort of mistake during the race. And they're off in the Kentucky Derby. So I put a lot of pressure on myself going into it, but any time that I feel I'm riding the best horse, I just try and put them in a position where they can't get beat. We got a nice stocking trip that day. We came into the stretch, and, and again, I knew it was going to be a dogfight. It was going to be a battle. And it was, once again, uh, Freehouse, myself, and, and a colt named Captain Bodget uh, came flying on the outside. Three jumps from the finish. I didn't know if I was going to win, if I was going to run second, or if I was going to run third. Had I known what I knew at the end of Silver Charm's career, I, I wouldn't have been panicking uh, five jumps from the wire because he, he sort of got a reputation by the heart attack kid. I mean, he'd, he'd always find a way to pull out a win. If you're going to win a Kentucky Derby, whether you win by a nose or a head or five links, the payday is the same and the accolades are the same at the end, but uh, it'll stop your heart a little bit. And uh, it was one of the most exciting races that I've ever been in. And it was for some great owners, uh, Bob and Beverly Lewis, who had done so much for my career early on and had been big supporters of mine. I think the sweetest thing about it was when I was pulling up after the race and, and the gallop back, I really just set back and, and uh, enjoyed that moment. Actually, you go on to the turf course after you win the race, and that two or three minutes with just you and the outrider and your horse is uh, something that's, that's really, really special. And you know that the groom, the exercise boy, the owners, the trainer, they're, they're all waiting for you to come back, and uh, they get to share that moment. And when you see that trainer's eyes looking at you, and you know you've done a good job, and that the horse has done a good job, there's nothing in, in my life other than my four kids being born that, uh, even come close to equaling those those feelings.